I do not encourage or condone the use of tobacco or cannabis products, and if you're under the age of 18, you can go ahead and get out of here right now. Alrighty, so, I thought Marlboro was the largest cigarette company in the world, but it's not. I was wrong. Marlboro is not the largest cigarette company in the world. And I know, I know, it's surprising to me as well. Today, I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about what the actual largest cigarette company in the world actually is, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be smoking a little bit of a Marlboro Virginia Blend 100, you know what I'm saying? This is my last one in the pack, you know what I'm saying? So I think without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get it lit up and go ahead and start talking about what the actual largest cigarette company is in the world. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so one thing I do want to acknowledge before I really get started though is that yes, Marlboro may be the largest nameplate in the world. They're the most recognized nameplate and the most sold nameplate in the world, I gotta be completely honest y'all. However, its parent companies, Altria in the USA and Philip Morris International, well, internationally everywhere but the USA, are not the largest cigarette companies in the world. Nor, even if you combine them together, are they the largest cigarette company in the world? And neither is British American Tobacco. I'm gonna give you guys a hint though. I'm gonna give you guys a hint. China. That's, that's, that's your hint, that's your hint. Now, put in your guesses right now, put in your guesses right now, you know what I'm saying? The largest cigarette company in the world is China Tobacco, or Chinese National Tobacco Company, or CNTC for short. I gotta be completely honest, y'all. That is the largest tobacco company in the world. So, just to give you guys some perspective, of course, China has about 1.2 billion people, I wanna say, something like that. One third of those people, roughly, about 300 million to 400 million, depending on the estimate, depending on who's saying it kind of thing, are smokers. That's right, about one third of the people that live in China are smokers. There are about a billion smokers worldwide. So basically, essentially, <laughs> essentially, one third of the smokers in the entire world live in China, which is absolutely, absolutely insane, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. So you might be wondering, why does this one company, why, why is this one company the largest cigarette company in the world? It's because it's a Chinese run government monopoly and they have a massive monopoly, just about the biggest monopoly I have ever heard of, 98%. That's how big their monopoly is. 98% of all cigarettes sold in China are produced, manufactured and sold by China Tobacco. That is correct. It is absolutely, absolutely insane. So basically, the amount of cigarettes they're selling is essentially one third of the entire world's cigarettes. I did the math in my head, uh, or maybe not in my head. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lie. I'm sorry. I was not completely honest with y'all. I did the math on a calculator a little while ago, and I'm going to see if I can remember those numbers on how many packs they sell per year. So if there's 300 million people buying a cigarette pack, let's just say on average every single day, that's of course 300 million packs a day. So, and as said, 300 million is a low estimate. I got to be completely honest with you. 300 million really is a low estimate. So if those all of those people who are buying one cigarette pack per day, 300 million people who are buying a cigarette pack per day are buying them per year. That's something like 109 billion cigarette packs per year. Billion with a B. 109 billion cigarette packs per year, which is crazy. I got to be completely honest, y'all. So if you multiply that by 20, just to get the actual number of cigarettes, what number is that? One, sorry, not one. It doesn't start with a one. 2.19 trillion cigarettes. So yearly, on average, and this is really just a guesstimate because, because China, there are really no public revenue statistics. There are no public sales statistics, nothing like that. All we know is that they have a monopoly on the entire Chinese cigarette market. So, so, they sell 2.19 trillion cigarettes per year. And that's one third of the entire world's cigarette consumption in, entire, in an entire year. So basically, the largest cigarette company in the world is a company that I didn't even hear of until six months ago. No joke, I had never heard of this company until about six months ago, I gotta be completely honest, y'all. And I wanna give a big shout out to you guys for actually telling me 
about this company, I gotta be completely honest with you because I had no clue it existed. I fully assumed it was either British American Tobacco or Philip Morris International. That was the biggest cigarette company in the world. And when you're looking it up on Google, what's the largest cigarette company in the world? What pops up? British American Tobacco. British American Tobacco typically pops up as the biggest cigarette company in the world by revenue. However, it's not, it's, it's not that. It's China Tobacco. The only reason it doesn't really pop up is because none of the statistics are publicly available. I gotta be completely honest, y'all. There are a couple websites that throw revenue statistics out there, but I don't really know how accurate they are, so I'm not gonna say them or anything like that. However, I will leave a bunch of sources in the description down below for you guys to go check out and do, and do for thir further reading, you know what I'm saying? Some of the brands they have if I remember correctly, actually, I don't remember what brands they have. I do have a little notebook in my in my backpack, I gotta be completely honest with you with two of the brands on it, I gotta be completely honest with you So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out and go ahead and read some of the brands to y'all because I have completely just forgotten what the brands were, I gotta be completely honest with y'all, but it's just absolutely insane in my personal opinion. 2.19 trillion cigarettes per year, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. That is insane. And get this, 20% of physicians in China also smoke, which is hilarious, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. Even though 95% of physicians fully believe that active smoking and passive smoking brings on lung cancer they see it's a it's a social setting kind of thing it's a social setting in china kind of thing so that's why it's so funny that 20 percent of physicians actually smoke cigarettes because in the u.s that's down to like five percent or something crazy low i gotta be completely honest y'all so here we go i've got the brands in my little pink notebook right here i gotta be completely honest y'all so China Tobacco produces over 900 brands of tobacco. I gotta be completely honest now, 900 brands. That's crazy, 900 brands. I don't think Marlboro, I don't think Philip Morris, I don't think I don't think British American Tobacco, I don't think they can compete anywhere near with that. I gotta be completely honest now, maybe they have like 200, 300 brands or something like that. 900 brands though, that's just another level. I gotta be completely honest now, that really is just another level. But two of the notable brands that they produce is Hongistan, which is Red Pagoda Hill internationally. It is one of the rare cigarettes that they do export. China Tobacco does not export a lot of cigarettes. 99.9% .9 of all of the cigarettes that they produce are sold domestically in China. They don't export many, and the ones that they do export are available in duty-free airports around the world, such as Heathrow, Singapore, something airport or something like that, and I think a couple in Australia, I gotta be completely honest with you. Not many though, not many, I gotta be completely honest with you. So they produce Hongistan, as said, and then they also produce Shanghao which is generally considered to be one of the best luxury cigarettes in the world, granted, according to China. So, take it with a grain of salt, I gotta be completely honest, y'all, but it actually, it actually is a very, very expensive cigarette by Chinese, well, terms, I gotta be completely honest, y'all. Typically, from what I've heard from people that have gone to China and bought cigarettes there, a typical pack is somewhere around 150 to 250 I gotta be completely honest, y'all, depending on what quality you like, kind of thing like that, kind of thing. I gotta be completely honest, y'all. <laughs> Shanghao average is like eight bucks a pack it's like eight bucks a pack so like if you're comparing that to a two dollar cigarette to eight bucks a pack that really is a luxury cigarette i gotta be completely honest y'all that's like saying let's see american spirits to maverick except even bigger i gotta be completely honest even bigger crazy stuff i gotta be completely honest y'all but it really is just insane in my personal opinion how the biggest brand the biggest company the biggest tobacco company in the world isn't Marlboro, isn't British American Tobacco, isn't Philip Morris, isn't Altria, it isn't any of those. It isn't really any company that you hear a lot about. Those companies are all tiny compared to China Tobacco, which sells, as said, one third of all of the cigarettes in the world. It's absolutely crazy, I gotta be completely honest y'all. But I have not been smoking this nearly as fast as I have. I gotta be completely honest y'all, I've not been smoking this nearly as fast as I've been needing to, you know what I'm saying? But this is just such an interesting topic, I gotta talk about it. And I've just been forgetting to hit my cigarette, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But... Let me know if you guys know of any inf other information about China Tobacco. I don't really know too much about them. How they work as a whole is kind of shrouded in mystery, I gotta be completely honest y'all. As said, it is a government monopoly, but there are a lot of different conflicting theories as to how they actually operate, whether they subcontract out work to smaller tobacco companies, or and then they actually just sell it and they take all the profits for themselves kind of thing, or whether they actually produce everything themselves. It's really an unknown, I gotta be completely honest y'all. There really is a lot of unknowns about this company that I myself don't know, sadly. So if you guys know any information that I did not mention in this video, please, please comment down below. I'd love to see it. I'd love to hear it. You know what I'm saying? And as said, there are going to be a couple sources in the description down below if you guys are interested in further reading. And I highly recommend it. It's a very interesting topic in my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? 
But no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? No complaints on my behalf. This cigarette certainly is pretty gas. So no complaints on my behalf at all. No complaints on my behalf at all, you know what I'm saying? I hope you guys have enjoyed watching my, my, my realization of that Marlboro is not the largest cigarette company in the world. It certainly is wild, and it certainly is crazy, and it certainly is something I did not expect. Marlboro, as said, may be the largest nameplate in the world. Hongistan, from what I heard, the Red Pagoda Hill cigarette that I mentioned earlier, is the most sold cigarette in China, but it only still really takes up about 4% of the market share, which is still insane, I gotta be honest. It's still insane. I mean, like 4% of 2.1 trillion cigarettes is still crazy. But, but, it's still nothing compared to Marlboro. It's still nothing compared to Marlboro, I gotta be completely honest with you. Marlboro really is the largest nameplate in the world, but it's not the largest company. And it really is crazy that CNTC, Chinese National Tobacco Company, is the largest. And you don't hear anything about it, I gotta be completely honest with you. But I think without further ado, I am going to go ahead and finish this off and go ahead and finish off the video right there. Let's go ahead and finish this off, y'all. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> but man, oh man. No complaints on my behalf. This ciggy certainly is pretty good. I gotta be completely honest, y'all. But I think that's just about all I have. So I think I'm gonna go and end it right here. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I got my Instagram, my book, my merch, everything in the description down below. You know what I'm saying? Go check it all out. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, y'all. Stay safe and peace. And have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And as said, make sure to like and subscribe. Or else, or else, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But yeah, until the next one, y'all, stay safe and peace. And have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir.